What's up guys, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive, Pete behind the camera, and Pete really should be doing this video because he just worked his butt off to get this transmission separated from my motor. So in this video, we're gonna tell you how to separate your 6L80 transmission from your engine. All right, so as you guys can see, we are in the process of pulling my motor. We're doing the DOD or displacement on demand delete, and we decided to do it with the motor out of the truck. And we were ready to pull this about three hours ago, and the transmission has refused to separate from the engine. We just finally got it to start separating, and we're gonna tell you guys how we did that. Um, so yes, there are only eight bolts. So if you've removed eight bolts, at least on my 6L80, that's all there were. There's two up top, and then you have the ones going down the side and two on the bottom. Um, so don't think you're going crazy. There are just eight. Now there are two pins, at least two pins, um, basically midway up, on both sides. Uh, one is right above the starter and right about the exact same height on the opposite side, on the driver's side, is another pin. We took a torch and heated those up. Now, I don't know if this helped, um, but we did see one video online where uh, they heated up those studs and that definitely helped uh, break those free from the transmission. So we heated those up, kept doing that repeatedly. Um, and then as you can see, we do have an engine hoist hooked up. We removed the cross member we use two jacks and the engine hoist. So uh, basically the motor is completely free from the engine mounts. So we could move this back and forth as well as the transmission underneath. And we were shaking and you know jacking up the back of the transmission, lowering the back of the transmission, uh, jacking up the front of the transmission right in front of the bell housing. And just, we did that for about two hours with no change. And then finally, after those two hours, we finally started to see daylight towards the bottom of the transmission. So we got in between there with a screwdriver and some pry tools and a sledgehammer and started separating the transmission from the motor. Um, so don't think you're going crazy. It just takes a lot of work. Do not forget to disconnect the torque converter bolts. So here's the flywheel right where the starter and access plate were located. There are three 15 millimeter bolts that connect the flywheel to the torque converter. You're gonna need to rotate the crank around at the front of the motor and have someone hold that in place while you break these bolts free. Now these were extremely tight. What ended up working for us was a ratchet like this, a nice small head on it, and you were able to get up in here and break it free, but it does take a lot of force to break it free and there's not really um, any space to put a breaker bar onto the wrench, unfortunately. So there's two normal bolts that are located at the bottom of the transmission. These are gonna be extremely easy to get out. There's two at the top that are quite challenging to get to. We actually went from the top of the motor with a ratchet wrench. Then there's four remaining ones. Now, the larger nut on the stud right here is 15 millimeter. That's actually part of the stud that's gonna come off together. Some of these you'll notice have a smaller uh, nut and like washer. These are holding brackets and these are 13 millimeters. So for those, you're gonna have to remove the 13 millimeter nut, pull whatever bracket it is holding on there off, and then you can access the 15 millimeter nuts underneath and then the entire stud will come out. Once those are removed, there should be nothing else holding the transmission, but those dowels or alignment pins can become extremely corroded and that can just really sandwich your transmission and engine together. So right up here, is one of those dowels I was talking about. You're not gonna be able to see it in the video, um, but if you feel in right here, you can actually feel the dowel. And if you're looking at it from the back side of the truck or the transmission side, you can actually see it sticking through a little bit. And you can also see uh, the hole right here where the dowel goes through. You can see that dowel pin directly above my pry bar. And even with this much of a gap, it's still taking a ton of force to separate it. And this is even with the weight of the motor trying to pull us apart as well. So you can see why it takes so much effort when it's all the way in. Um, so that dowel pin was definitely holding us up. So we heated those up with torches and this was just a bear. But finally we got a little bit of a sliver of a gap and just started beating larger and larger pry tools into it until we were able to start working our way around the bell housing. So now we have a couple more ground connections to disconnect and I think we have all the electrical connections disconnected but we'll find out in a minute as we start to pull this out. But we finally got that done and can keep going with the engine removal. So that's it guys, really quick short video but I know we were 
kind of in a panic, like, are we going to be able to get this out? And it would have been helpful for us to just find a video reassuring us that, yes, this is hard, but you do have everything disconnected. You just have to keep working on it. So we thought we would shoot that video so you guys could have a reference if you are in the same situation we just were in trying to get that transmission removed from the motor. So if you're interested in knowing how to delete the DOD system that we are doing, you can definitely check that video out down in the description of this one. And we have a lot more content on my Silverado. Anyway, good luck. I'm sure you're in the middle of trying to get your transmission off. Hope you guys are able to get it off soon and see you back here next time.